round five, we have uh, Maple Valley Reverse Short Circuit. It's only 1.1 miles. However, I'm not sure it has to jump. I've never been on this track before in my life when it comes to this layout. Of course, I've done that layout going up there that way. I, I don't know why I did that voice. But the hairpin coming up, which is never a good thing. It is slightly banked on the inside, which is a benefit to us. But it, it's only marginal help. Just look at it. It just goes. I don't think this has to jump in it. No, because that's what the jump was over there. Okay, because I was going to say, if we have to jump, we are in a massive amount of problem. Because, um, I can all that... In my in the ridiculous car build series, that jump causes all sorts of problems for relatively sensible vehicles. M much more sensible than this. Much more sensible than this. And they have absolutely massive problems. However, we do not have to worry about it, which is all good. So we can just roll across the finish line, or just. That was the laziest roll. Okay, that's a little better. But that was the laziest roll of your career so far. Come on. Have you just burned out all your energy after that world record setting roll at Hockenheim? I think you might have. This is the only track that I truly fear I will fail on. And that is the Nuremberg GP circuit. Because it has not one, not two... Not three, but five hairpins, including this one. Then there's one right after this, and there's another one right after this, and there's another one. And then there's another one at the finish line. Like, Jesus Christ. First corner, and it's already doing that. It's also extremely long for a track, and it's going to take a long time. 3.2 miles long, which is three times longer than the Guello track we went number though. Uh, Maple Valley, sorry, Maple Valley. Uh, like, just look at it. It just wants to go over. There's, it just... This track is the worst-case scenario besides the Nuremberg Full Circuit and Nordicef. Because it has a lot of hairpins, lots of elevation changes, lots of high-speed corners. It's an absolute nightmarish track for this car. So, um, I'm expecting this is the place where I lose another one of my, uh, lives, where I go up to three cars. Um, but one can hope that won't happen. Here comes the worst part of the track. Hug the water, hug the water, because it won't roll over in the water. There we go. Because in the water, it hydroplanes, so it has no grip. But if you stay in the water, you go really slow, and you go slow enough, you actually won't roll over. So you want to hit those puddles at slow speeds as much as humanly possible. Uh, and then we come up to the law, to the really fast section, which will most certainly cause absolute nightmares for the car. And then if I do get up on two wheels, I have to make sure not to counter-steer too much or I will roll over counter-steering. Which is what happened the... Which is why I'm on the second truck now. And not the first truck. Come on. Here comes the other corner that I really hate. Because I'm expecting this to go fairly wrong. We're apparently to hit it at 100 miles an hour. Not quite... Ugh. Look at the leaning, but we made it. The youth of death has made it. And I am astounded that we have made it. I'm also astounded at how fast this vehicle is actually going around here. Because I'm actually pushing it quite hard and it's not murdering me. Knock on wood, because this is the last corner, last hairpin. And there we go! Ha-ha! The youth has made it! And once again, a celebratory roll across the line. 
There we go. This is what we want. Can we beat the world record? That was a serious competitor. Our right, next up is Sebring at their club circuit. So, uh, yeah, let's hope this goes well. Um, it is a little shorter than usual, 1.7 miles. However, Sebring is notorious for having the most dangerous curves in the game. For the sixth, you roll, I rolled essentially every single car I drove, minus one. I even rolled a Lamborghini race car off of these curves. So, they're vicious. They're vicious little things that I'm immediately running into. Oh, no, 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 no. This is another track I'll expect to roll over on quite a lot. Just because of the notoriety surrounding it. Being the rolling capital of Forza. So. Nope, 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 nope. Put your wheels down. All four wheels on the ground at once is a requirement mandatory by law. Okay. Nope, nope. Water. Water's good. Water's good. Water's good, right? Yes, water's good. There we go. Okay, nicely done. Let's go. Oh, that was a dumb idea, dumb idea. That was a bad idea in the history of terrible ideas. Just look at that, it's ridiculous. One more corner, it's very high speed though, come on, be brave. Be brave, it's leaning, it's leaning, no! And we're over. Car number three is gone, and car number two is gone in spectacular fashion. Dang it, I knew that corner. We were right in front of the line, too. The line's right there. Uh, spectacular roll, so at least it went out in style. What was that? I have no idea, but... Ah, uh, we're on to car number three, darn it. Alright, uh, Silverstone up next, which... Good news about Silverstone, it is once again back on the FIA calendar. Thank you, FIA, you actually made a smart decision for the 2018-2019 season. Thank you for that. And, uh... Yeah, this track, this is the National Circuit. Once again, I picked the National Circuit. It's, it's not too long. So, hopefully it won't cause that many problems. However, you never know. I was... I'm not sure about this track. I don't know too much about it when it comes to rolling or any sort of stuff like that. And it doesn't... Seem too nasty. That section is awful, though. Uh, and I have a bit of a nastier section coming up to the finish line. We have uh, four more corners to go, including the same type of corner that rolled us, which is why we're now on car number three. Um, this is a really difficult challenge, in case you aren't aware. Knowing every single track and not rolling on them is next to impossible. Like, that is our main problem there. Just that sudden, we're going up, and you have, like, half a second to catch it. That is the problem with this truck. It will just go over, and you have almost no time to catch it. You have enough, just enough, to catch it, like I did there. But it is not easy at all. At all. However, a little bit of two-wheel action, we did make it through the lap. And we do a nice celebratory couple dozen rolls just for good measure. With nice landing. Yeah, car's crazy as always. I am mistaken, this is the most dangerous track today. Spa. Because it is the longest track. I made a mistake, I thought Nuremberg was. Nope, this is the longest track. 4.3 miles no matter what. We have a fair number of hairpins, a lot of high-speed sections, an ungodly amount of high-speed sections anyway. If we don't roll more than once, then I will be amazed. Because coming up, I think, if my Formula 1 memory serves me correct, which I don't watch Formula 1 very often, I believe this is a Rouge coming up. A very fast, uphill switchback. 
which we are wheeling off of right now. And we have survived the first half and the second half. Okay, that is good. We were wheeling there, which is why I let off, because I didn't want to go off track. Um, and then we have a very big breaking zone heading into a very sharp corner, which is always a good thing for the mighty Ute. That, that's obvious, really. And break early, break early, break early. Slow it on down below 50. So we don't die. I had to go straight there so we didn't die. No, 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 no. We are not at the nastiest sections. Those are to come. The high speed um, sections are this vehicle's downfall because when you're going slow, you can catch it because you're not going very quick. But when you're going fast, you're gone. You're just gone. You have almost no chance of correcting it like we saw at Sebring. So if we are not on car number four, car... Jesus Christ, car number five, by the end of it, then I will be amazed because you saw there, that is the slow speed section, and we still have the very high speed sections to come, which is, well, never a good thing. I love Spa, but not in this car. This car is like, this section is the car's worst enemy, you can see there, it just wants to go over, there we go, made the first dangerous section, we still have three more to go, yeah, roughly three more to go, but it's fine, everything is a, okay, Just don't screw it up. Half the track is behind you. We just have nice, perfect sections behind, in front of us. And this is probably the worst section here. We saw, oh, there's three horrible sections. Eau Rouge, the section over there, and the section here, which are supposedly flat out, but I'm not sure if I trust that. Just look at the leaning. I'm gonna break early here. No, 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 no. Cover it, recover it, good, go. Car number four. <laughs> I recovered it, and then I recovered it, and then I didn't recover it. You see, though, that's the section. I, I always knew that section was gonna be terrifying, and... I, I almost had it, dang it, I almost had the little thing, and then it just, like, it just had no, I had no chance of stopping that third one. However, we are only on car number four, which is a good thing, considering we only have three more tracks left to go, so, without further ado, there we go. Spa has been completed, and once again, going for the rolling world record, because... That's just a fun little hobby. Suzuka is next up. We are on the East Circuit, 1.4 miles. Looks relatively straightforward, but I'm not going to curse it. I ain't going to curse it. We're on car number four. Um, so here's hoping we stay on car number four, because all we have left after Suzuka is Top Gear. Virginia, and I think that's it, actually, after Suzuka, so, yeah, here's hoping we stay on car number four. Okay, nice and easy, these corners are relatively nasty on it because they're long. The longer the corner, the worse it is for the car. Don't oversteer, car. Don't, please don't oversteer. Please don't do any of this stuff that you are currently doing. Okay, we are heading on to the start from this straight now. Just don't screw it up. I Yes, we have this, yes. 
easy, nice, and simple for uh, Suzuka, and we roll across the line. Um, we're still rolling. Still we roll. Still we roll. Still, and one more? No, not quite. Um. Well, the car's not very happy. Making some weird noises. Yeah. Relatively straightforward, as I expected. We are here at the Top Gear test track. Quite possibly the biggest danger. Like the dangerous, like the shortest yet most dangerous track on the calendar. Why? Because it is comprised of almost solely hairpins and high speed corners. Which have been the downfall of the previous three vehicles that have failed. And rolled over, so. Yeah, it has big braking zones, ultra fast corners, ultra slow corners, and big old hairpins dotting every corner of the track. Like, that is just not good for survival on this challenge. And if I want to keep it on, on car number quattro, I want to make sure we don't flip it. Um, this section I, I especially don't like, however, at least we can, are able to catch the car if something arises. Whereas, coming up to the sections right now, I highly doubt that will be the case, so we just need to be extra, extra careful. Because this section here is extremely nasty. Like, just, like, look at that. Now slow is smooth, smooth, no, 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 we're off in the dirt, but I caught it, I caught it, that's the important part, is I caught the car, I didn't roll it on the straightaway, we are good, oh, that was an extremely long way on two wheels, in fact, we have not rolled it at all on top gear until the finish line, which is not counting at that point. Again, pretty solid. We had a huge scare on the back straightaway, but we did manage to recover it. For the final race, we are at the um, Virginia International Raceway Patriot Circuit. Because uh, it's relatively short and has... I don't think a single long straightaway. So that's going to be a lot of corners to manage, which... I guess this is technically a straightaway here, but this is about as long of a straightaway as you will get on this track. It's a very tiny track. Um, it is still over a mile though, so it is still eligible to be used. Okay, we're doing well. I was about to say what we're doing well, but no, don't curse it. Don't curse it. Nope, we're not gonna curse it. High speed section coming out is bad. High speed coming out of the section is bad. Hit the brakes. No! We are on car number four. This is the last track. We are not gonna throw it away. We are not gonna get on to car number five. Because the, the finish line is coming up, we are going to do well, we are going to finish our fourth car. I mean... Technically I rolled it on the finish line. Um, I'm going to count that as finishing with a roll. So I'm going to count that as a total success. At 11 miles an hour, we just rolled over. I just want to point that out. Houston, we have an 11 mile an hour rollover. You're actually getting to the point where you cannot physically... Where you actually get... Alright, alright. Well, um... It is possible, it's just incredibly difficult to, I'm sure I could if I really wanted to, try again at, um, trying to complete this without rolling over once. 
Um, theoretically, I could. I just don't have the time or patience because this took a long time. And it'll probably be split up into two episodes. So, yeah, there's 11 miles an hour again. Yeah, the Ute is as crazy as ever. And I'm pretty sure we set a few rolling records for barrel rolls in the process. But, we just bounced off a cone. But yeah, it's kind of fun. It's a fairly, di it's a very difficult challenge actually, especially in a few of the longer tracks. But, that is it for this episode of Forza Motorsports. I'm going to be back with more 